Okay, so we're going to add another step uh, to the same drill that we've been doing, and that's moving. Okay, so um, if you're ever in a situation where you have to use your firearm, you don't want to just stand there. You want to move, you want to get out of the way, uh, you want to avoid the fight at all costs, but if you have to engage, um, uh, then you need to move. So what we're going to do is our five point draw, engage target one. So I have the two targets over here now. I'm going to kind of be off camera, but I'm going to try to get into camera as best I can. But we're going to get on target, the first target, um, engage that target, do a reload, and then start walking forward to the next target and then engage that one. 360 awareness and then reholster our firearm. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so obviously I made a bunch of mistakes there, but I want to leave those mistakes on video for you guys to see. So um, real quick, what did I forget? Did anybody see anything that happened? Um, so the first thing was, um, the first thing that came to mind, my mind was I forgot my 360 awareness. Um, and that was because when I put the, I forgot one magazine in here, um, or actually I didn't have it cocked. So when I went to pull the trigger, uh, that's the first thing. So that threw me off. Um, so when I put the magazine in and pulled back, obviously it's empty. So it locked this back so I was focused on that and I forgot to check my 360 awareness so this is why we do these dry fire practicing practices but one thing that I continue to do is follow through even though I knew I made a mistake continue doing it right so um, fix the mistake and stay in the fight uh, we want to win so stay in the fight continue working through that mistake um, so if, if you noticed I didn't do that, I didn't work through. I left the gun open, but I still got on target. And then after making three or four mistakes, you know, I worked through best I could. I went ahead and uh, put it away. Um, so it's actually starting to rain. I'm gonna run through it uh, one more time. Hopefully I don't make a mistake, but let's see how it looks. Okay, so that time was much better. Um, so I'm trying to stay on camera. So normally I would do this drill, you know, all these drills actually I try to do way further back, at least 15, 20 feet, something like that. Um, that also gives me more room uh, to walk forward to engage, but I'm trying to stay on camera and work with what I got here. So, um, so that second time I did that felt really good. Um, so the only thing I can really think of is I was focused on walking and not making those mistakes I did previous and I wasn't focused on the, the front side. So again, um, that's another mistake I made and it's important to be honest with yourselves to, to know what mistake you're making and not think, oh no, no, that was fine. Uh, you're going to make a mistake, work through those mistakes, be honest with yourselves and continue to dry fire practice. Um, so the next step from here is you know putting on a shirt using your um, concealed carry rig whatever it is you got working through these exact same drills in the same way uh, but if you use a cover garment uh, a shirt a sweater a vest whatever it is that you that you have um, doing these same drills and then moving uh, you know moving that out of the way and getting to your firearm and engaging the target walking forward getting it out of the way again and uh, reholstering your firearm so i'll do some videos of that in a little bit um, maybe, I don't know, it's starting to rain, but we'll see what happens.